His speech was closely watched by friends and rivals, looking for any indication that Iran is willing to talk to the U.S. But President Hassan Rouhani made it clear he won't meet President Donald Trump as long as the U.S. continues to impose sanctions. They call us to negotiations when they run away from treaties and deals. Our response under sanctions is negative. Iran's leader has called on regional neighbors to join an alliance to secure freedom of navigation in the Strait of Hormuz, where much of the world's oil supply passes through. Rouhani excluded the U.S. from taking part in what he called the Coalition of Hope. But the U.S. and Saudi Arabia have quickly dismissed the proposal. The European Union is keen to cool the tension in the Gulf and prevent further escalation. Its top diplomat, Federica Mogherini, says she hopes the 2015 nuclear deal will continue to be respected despite ongoing differences. We will continue to work together uh, with unity of purpose to try and preserve it without ignoring the challenges. The Trump administration is ramping up pressure on Iran. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said sanctions and isolation would continue until Iran's nuclear ambitions are curbed. As long as Iran's menacing behavior continues, continues sanctions will not be lifted. They will be tightened. And the U.S. and Saudi Arabia continue to blame Iran for the attacks on the world's largest oil processing plant in the kingdom 11 days ago. Saudi diplomats have stepped up their pressure, saying all options against Iran are on the table. Iran's behavior cannot continue like this. Iran must uh, abide by international law. Iran must uh, comply with the rule-based international order. And uh, the Iran's aggressive behavior must be checked. The attacks took out nearly half of Saudi oil production, which the state oil company Aramco is rushing to restore. As the U.S. continues to build the case against Iran, Rouhani warned against any attack, saying retaliation will quickly follow. The attacks on Saudi oil installations threaten to be a game changer and could lead to a military confrontation. But the EU, Russia, China and some countries in the Middle East say the crisis should be solved through dialogue and that escalation would only further destabilize the region. Hashim Barbara Al Jazeera, New York.